Hi everybody, welcome back to Yoga with Ari. Today's an exciting one. A lot of these yoga teachers give yoga in our kind of, in a kind of an ideal way. But Yogi Ari gives you yoga in the real world. And today, we're gonna to talk about yoga with a belly full of poop. All right, hi everybody. Welcome to Yoga with Ari. Um, no challenge anymore. We're just trying to keep up. I'm trying to keep up with our hard, hard bodies. Um, so one thing that's come to my mind is sometimes I try to do yoga, and the problem is I have a belly full of poop, which makes it more difficult. Um, a lot of times in a yoga class, um, it's already a fart haven. With a belly full of poop, it becomes way worse. You can only blame it on the guy to your left so much. Now here's one tip, by the way, that when you are doing a, a, a Actually, maybe I'll do these during the episode. So like, but like, if I'm sitting here, you know, I'm, I'm yoga as fuck here, let's just say, and then someone else's yoga as fuck, like, over here, and then someone else's yoga as fuck, like, over here, but further apart, you know? And then you rip one, right? You, you like, you're doing this, and then all of a sudden it's like, and then that's, this guy looks over here. A lot of times a common mistake is to look and be like, sorry, or just ignore it, right? And just like ignore it, but they see you, and then they're looking too. What you want to do is, very quickly, pick a direction. So you just cut one, he looks here, he looks here, you look there. So now obviously this guy knows it was you. This guy thinks it's you, and the guy over there doesn't really know. So I'll, the guy over there, two over, three over, he thinks it might be him. Three over that way, thinks it might be him. Why not pass some of the plane as you pass some of the gas? So. You guys, let's, uh, let's start. How should we do this? We got a few moves for you. <sighs> start with a little, uh, just, just this, okay? Because I, I don't know about you, but I am fucking sore. <sighs> so let's just try to get those knees down. Cross those legs over. Get them into your uh, cunt. Uh, pull them down. Okay. Let's check out the arms. We're just getting started here. Maybe now, let's stand up. Okay, roll the shoulders. All right. Oh, we're almost ready. Oh, this is actually pretty good. I could just do this for a whole class. What if my entire yoga instruction class is just doing this? I bet you'd get something out of it though. I really bet you would. Oh. Okay. We're going to do some stretching up to the right and to the left. This time, oh, let me show you backwards. Okay. So what we're going to try to do is get the right hand up, left hand down, and then we're just going to try to meet them here. And then as we do that, if we can grasp, I can grasp this way. I'm good this way. The other way, I'm way worse. But let me just show you. If you can only get to here, that's fine too. And then we're just going to turn... Over to the right, but I'm gonna try to grab it. Oh, uh, oh yeah, breathe. Fuck. Oh yeah, breathe. And then back the other way. That's it. Oh, I got a belly full of poop. Okay. And now we're switching arms. Uh, see? I can barely get there. Did you do that, dude? Was that you? Stress to your right. Stress to your left. Oh, I'm trying to keep that back. Okay. Okay. Now, with a belly full of poop, the important thing is to know is you got to keep it in. The ultimate worst case scenario here is if you shit your pants. You're not going to go back to that yoga class. After all this corona stuff is done, you're going to try to go to yoga class here or there. There's a bunch of classes like Fast Pass, where you go to like lots of classes all across like New York City, uh, other places, or you just go to like one of your favorite yoga, or just keep doing it with Yogi Ari. But I only do it so often, so I get it. So, feet apart, and now hands out. We're just gonna try to like go down. Dude, come on. 
and that's it. And go down. Keep those knees straight. Keep them locked. Slowly, we're going to move our hands down to the ground. Oh. Put your palms flat if you can. I can not. Three, two, one, and fuck it. Oh, okay. <sighs> Let's do this lunge thing I want to do. The Conor McGregor move. Oh, okay. Let's take a big lunge. Imagine there's a homeless guy there. He's dead. Uh, there weren't enough people out giving change these days. So he died from starvation, disease. Um, you don't want to find out. But you're also on your route. And you don't want to go out of your way to slow down uh, or to have to go around this homeless guy. So what we're going to want to do is step over the homeless guy in a big lunge. Uh, now imagine he's gone. And then we're just bending down and picking up the quarter. Just picking up the quarter. You can rest your hand here if you want. Or you can just... Go both. You want to keep your chest straight up. Oh yeah, breathe. And pick up that quarter. Now, once your knees on the ground, pick that back leg up. This is where the pain comes. Front is fucking nothing. Back is pain. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, uh. Three, two, one, and fuck it, guys. We're just warming up because we're gonna get some fucking cardio done today. Other leg, new homeless guy. Ooh, and it's his wife. Okay. And now back. Maybe we're going to rob them. Nobody will see. I stepped over them. Now I'm slowly falling down, slowly falling down, slowly falling down. She's got change in her pocket. Even though she's homeless, the change will work for you. These are lean times. Put it in your pocket. And then reach up. You were just tying it. Ooh, in here. That's where it really fucking hurts. Ow, back straight up. Oh yeah, breathe. It actually feels better on the joints if you do breathe. And down. Let's try to go up in some fucking sweet ass move. Do your own fucking thing. Okay, yes. Do a few more standing things. Goddess pose, okay? That's uh, feet. 45 degrees out. All we're doing is we're serving tr dinner trays, okay? We're a fucking woman here. That's why it's the goddess pose. Serving dinner trays. Men are eating. Uh, it's too far out. Okay. And then whew, keep breathing. Keep breathing. Three. We're going to do two of these. Two. One. Back up. Up to the glass ceiling. Can't get through it. You can get to it. And then down again. Ah. Oh. Three. Two. One. Don't shit. Don't shit. Don't shit. Hold it in. And back up. Belly full of poop. These farts are coming now, like, starting to turtle. Now, let's do one of these. I'm going to push those legs out. Okay, straight down again. This is working out the same legs. And then just, ah. Right now, if we were going to take a shit, it would be right out of our taint. Damn it, these farts now are like, it's like you can hear it. It's a different tone. Three, two, one, and up. Okay. And then back down one more time. It's a different tone because it's more solid. Yeah, it's not It's not all air now. It's like there's not much room for it to get through. Two, one, and then back out. Big stretch and out. Okay. Left knee, left leg, foot straight out, right leg. Uh, in this way, I mean straight that way. So 45 degrees, right? Nine, no, 90 degrees. Okay, we're gonna just take a big lunge forward. Aww. And come over there. Nah, make it 45 degrees on the back leg. And then up, other leg, 45 degrees. With the, with the right leg, straight up on the left leg, and then come up and over. Oh, oh yeah, breathe. Oh, now I want to show you something, by the way, for your legs. I don't know how you want to get this. If you have plantar fasciitis, charts your feet. This is, like, legit, by the way. I'm going to give you some legit notice. Um, 
you have to stretch this out. I don't know why that's connected to that, but also you want to stretch this out anyway. So something to do in the mornings is, where is it that you're gonna be able to see this? All the way over here, right? <sighs> Lean against the wall. Your back leg should go in a little bit. So see that? About 40 degrees. If this was zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20 if that's 45, maybe 40 degrees. And then all we're doing is leaning forward uh, and back with the chest. And you just want to get a good stretch in there. And that's all we're doing. Uh, ooh, fuck. Don't go too far. You can seriously pull something here. Fuck, belly full of poop. I got to take a shit. Hmm. Two, one, and then stretch. 40 degrees. And then just lean it. Like you're really t trying to fuck. Like you're doing the wrong angle here, but you're trying to fuck. Imagine there's a glory hole right here, and then like it ends right here. So your knee can go above the hole. Some other person's in there. Asshole or, or vagina, you don't care. You don't care. You just want to get off. And then you're just trying to like fuck it, but keep that back leg straight. If it bends, you won't get the stretch. Ah. For three. Two, one, fuck that ass pussy, mm, and then out. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Guys, let's get down to tabletop. La Mesa. I took two weeks of intensive Spanish class in Colombia. Colonia, Colombia, wait, what was it? Colombia Immersion School? I forgot. Hey, dude, come on. No, no, don't go too far. Don't say, hey, dude, come on. They'll know. All right. Stretch this out tabletop. We're going to go from this to downward facing dog. And then we're just going to do some fucking middle stretches, okay? And work out. Downward facing dog. Stretch left, stretch right, stretch left, stretch right. Okay. Really get that fucking head in to your, towards your knees. Now, right leg up to the right. And then we're just going to come through. Ah, don't put it down, though. Hold it there, and then back out. To the right. Oh, come on. And then back through. Ah, one more time. Back through. And then even. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, that hurt my heart. Okay, we're going to do the other leg, but fucking shake it out, I guess. Okay. Tabletop. Okay. Down face it down. Out and to the right. Try to keep that right leg um, knee not bent. And then through. Don't put it down. Over. And then slowly bend. That's it. That's it. Last one. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Let's do one stretch and then we'll get to this fucking thing. Okay. Right leg in front of the left leg. Left leg straight, uh, straight back. Is this left leg? Yeah. Right leg bent like this. And all we're doing, we're just going to pray the gay away. Okay? So what you got is your knee, your heel, and your dick. That's where you fuck ass, right? Because you're gay. But you don't want to fuck ass anymore. Because somebody told you that it's like evil, Right? And maybe uh, Mike Pence is teaching a fucking, running a school nearby you, and all you're doing is praying the gay away. Please. I don't want that gay. I mean, you want it. Obviously, you want it. Nobody fucks better than gays. Even lesbians don't even come close to gays. Gays fuck. But for some reason, society, I don't know, in the 80s and 90s, they didn't accept it. So you want to pray that gay away. By the way, a great way to meet dudes if you're gay is gay conversion camp. A lot of dudes get laid there. Okay. And just kind of come over there. We're trying to keep, if you can, your whole hip on the ground. I cannot. So I do somewhat. And then come up. You've been, oh, that looks fucking cool, doesn't it? That looks like a real pose. I'm gonna shit myself before this fucking class is over today. Other way. Ow! Oh. Right leg out. I spilled beer on this fucking mat last time I used it. It smells. Okay. 
for some reason, your mom is like, I just think you can be a regular person. And all we're doing is, so what we want is, you're not going to get there, but you want is this hip down and this hip down and then come over. But I can't really do that. Unless I get like further over. Maybe if I get further, even that. Anyway, we're praying that gay weight. But while we're there, oh, what's this? Is it a dick? Oh, I just kind of fell in it. Pray that gay way. Love that cock. Pray that gay way. Love that cock. Same time. See what we're doing there? Okay. For three, two. Do work the balls too, you know? In between, while you're trying to catch your breath, you want to work the balls. It's not the main thing, but it's like a garnish. When you're giving a dude a blowjob, I guess this works for women too. The balls should be... The ball should be a garnish. It should be a, um, not time. What's that fucking, what are those things, those sprigs of fucking green on the side that you're not supposed to eat? Whatever those are. Chicks, you know, you cook. All right. And back up. Ow. All right. Now we got a good stretch. And we're ready to do this fucking exercise. What we're trying to do here is, we got a lot of poop way up in the colon and in the intestines and we're trying to push that down to the bottom of your stomach so as soon as this class is over while everyone else is showering or talking about what a good class talking about how yoga as fuck they are you're gonna be pooping so oh, i can be here this is going to be difficult i'm gonna rearrange your cock and balls if you got hard doing that pay the gay away that's totally cool but maybe something you should be looking into all right you might know these in a non-yoga world as crunches, but that's not what they are. We're leaving our legs up. All we're doing is putting one leg out, and we're, but we're trying to keep them even. We're trying to keep this shin uh, parallel to the ground, right? We don't want it to like this or like that. So parallel to the ground. So, I don't know. This way, um, this way, however you want to do it. But start here, and then tell you what, let's do one where we don't go fast. Left leg out. Actually, you know what? Let's pull this in. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Sorry. Push the left leg out, put the right leg in, and into your underarm. So first straight back, and then out. If you want to go out that way, fucking, that's cool too, dude. I don't care. Okay. But really stretch against each other. Get that left leg out. Oh, three, two, one. Oh, fuck it. Okay, and then back in. Both legs. And then right leg out. Oh, dick and balls. Left leg in. Really stretch that right leg out, though. And that left leg in. For three. Ooh. Two. One. Okay. Good stretch. Here we go, you guys. Both legs up. And left leg out. And then we're going to bring it back. And then right leg out. And now we're going to keep doing that. And we're going to come up and touch. Okay? Touch. Touch, touch, 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fuck it, ow, ooh, this hurts, oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, okay, we gotta do another rep of those, oh, uh, Becky, check to see if my dick and balls came out there, god damn it, it might have. Okay, I'm gonna tuck these away really hard. I gotta get the fucking underwear over the balls. Okay, here we go. Fuck, you guys ready for another one? Oh, no, it's fucking, it's for, it was back to wet, I mean to uh, airy again, and now it's back to solid. It's a stoppage in there. Okay, here we go. Start with the left. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, wait, seven, come on, sorry. Eight, there's people counting on you. Nine, ten. Well, that was awful on my part. Awful, awful, awful on my part. Okay, not bad. Okay, let's go up to our fucking back here. Ready? We know this move. All we're doing is going up to our shoulders. The sound might be going in and out of here. Who knows? And now what we're doing, we pack the shit down, 
Now we want to pack it back up a little bit. It's like, um, you don't just shake it, you don't shake it like this, you shake it like that, you know? And so now we're getting the shit really compact in the middle of the stomach. Three, two, one, try to go down gracefully. I'm never good at this. Oh, I know what you can do. It's this. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do a couple more stretches and then we're done, though. Not a tough one. Not a tough one today. <sighs> Left leg out. I'm sorry, right leg out. Left leg, come fuck yourself. And all we're doing is trying to get some stretch in here. I don't know about you guys, but I am fucking not flexible anymore. I went two weeks without, then I did once on Saturday, now another Saturday. You guys want to do a live yoga with Ari? Becky, let's set up a live yoga with Ari. We'll find a fucking good day and we'll do it like actually live. That'll be good. And then we can just record it. And just kind of reach over and stretch. Ooh, I feel bad in there. Stretching, not popping. It's my number one rule. Hold it there. Try to get the left knee down. Hold it there. Oh, yeah. Chest up. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck it. Oh, le other leg. Left leg out. Right leg in. Okay. And touch it. Really stretch in there. Oh yeah, breathe. Breathe on this. Chest up if you can. Oh, I forgot to put the other one on. Uh, guys, we got like one more move left. It really does help when you breathe. Ah. Uh, Okay, at this point, I'm not even feeling the poop anymore. How are you guys doing? If you've come to this later, maybe not in order, but later you're like, hey, I wanna do yoga, and I got a belly full of poop, so you just search yoga belly full of poop, and this came up. How are you feeling right now? My poop level is like, unannoying. All right, let's stretch our back a little bit. Um, can we do this one? Let's do it over. First, Go to your knees, perfect tabletop. We're gonna grab those ankles, okay? This is obviously it's a hockey joke, but prison. We get in there, we really stretch that fucking right up here up. For three, two. I can't breathe. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, we didn't do dead cat live cat. I think it was the reason why. This is dead cat. I'm scared cat. I can already tell my back's gonna be hurting. So let's fucking stretch it. Dead cat. Really get that fucking stomach down. And then stomach up. Ah. Last move. Last move for the back. Okay. Hands. You see them? Like this. You can get the thumbs over if you want. All you're doing is just leaning back now. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Three, two, one. Fuck it. Oh, no bueno. Oh, fuck. You guys, I think we're done. Last one, last one, last one. Feet together. Foot dick, as my friend calls this. Foot dick. Bring them in as close as you can. Bring your knees down as far as you can. First, we're just gonna take your elbows and push those knees down. You see it? Just push them down. Ow. Ooh, that's a good stretch. I don't even feel the poop anymore. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I'll feel it when I poop shortly after this and get some coffee and poop. Should I have coffee for this? No, I would not have made it through. And now, now that you've pushed those down, grab the toes, and we're just gonna move that chest up and over. Ah. This hurts my back. I'm about to ready to stop. Five seconds. Four, three, 
two, one, back up. Now let's do it sideways. Let's do a nice stretch this way. Always care for the back. That's the one thing, you guys. It, obviously, stretching, not popping, means like legs, uh, elbows, shoulders, uh, knees especially. But the back is the one that's going to make you stop doing yoga the most. When your back gets sore, you're fucked. So, real advice here from a true yoga, yogi, excuse me, yogi are. A lot of these people are just yoga instructors. I'm a true yogi. I'm enlightened. I've met Buddha. I, I studied under Dr. Jahar Shavarsar Maheshavad. And there's one thing you got to learn is to take care of the back. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, okay. You guys, I think we're fucking done. Ow. Should we try to accept our toes? Let's see how close we get. I doubt we'll get close at all. Now, this is bad for your back. And your ego. I was getting it fully all the time before. I mean, guys, I was like, you remember, you remember. I would, let's say my leg was straight. I was like this by the end. Like this part of my, th was in at my toes. And now I'm like. <sighs> Mind over matter. You're a Yoda. You're a Yoda. Okay, whatever. Let's give thanks. Let's give thanks. <sighs> Another class done. Class number what? 32? I'm going to keep doing these, you guys. Um, when the quarantine is over, I'm hoping to get some friends to come do it with me. Big J Okerson. I'm looking at you specifically. Um, and many other people will be able to contribute to Yoga with Ari. I'll be doing it with them. Maybe they'll just do it on their own and I'll fucking put them up here. But until that time comes, I'm still going to be doing these here alone in a fucking... Rumpus room of the bomb shelter. Oh, so we have to keep pressing this button for every fucking 27 hours. So, I want you to give thanks. At this point, cross your legs. Keep your legs over here. You know what? Maybe I'll do one of these soon. Nah, I'll do one of those next time. So you guys don't feel bad. But either way, when I did a fucking 10-day Vipassana silent meditation in northern Thailand, lasted five days, talked after one. Um... They would make you sit there for so long while this fucking Buddha was talking. This monk. Ah, oh, this game is so painful. So if this is too painful for you, don't worry about it. But what we do here, if you're new to this class, is we just give something, we just say something you're thankful for. To yourself, out loud. If you're alone, do it out loud. So I'm going to do it. I am thankful that I did not shit my pants today during yoga class. While it would have been great content, it might have been demonetized and deplatformed. I'm not sure. So I'm thankful that that. Whatever you guys are thankful for. Uh... Your dad's still in good health. Uh, you got a great loving wife. Um, I don't know. You got leftover fucking gazpacho that you're going to get back to later. Whatever it is. Have one thing in your mind that you're thankful for. And it'll really turn your mood around. And this is something that Steve Simone taught me. He does his daily gratitude list on Instagram. Just, uh, just five things out loud in the shower. Just say it. I'm thankful for the, you know, I got that Irish spring soap. That my Amazon order came. Uh, um, you know, I, my wife gave me a great blowjob. Uh, um, I found a new book to read. Whatever it is, you know. And I like the light in the living room. Whatever it is. So, my one thing, just one thing. That's all we're doing today. And as we're doing that, keep your back straight up. Do yoga as fuck. Do the lotus shits. Whatever. And close your eyes and we're going to breathe in through the nose for five seconds, out through the mouth for six seconds. Do you have, by now, if you know this class, you should have the thing you're thankful for. Okay, I never plan ahead of time. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm thankful for that. Not shitting my pants. Try to keep your back straight up. The rod straight through the top of your head, through your chest, out through your asshole, into the ground. And here we go. Got it? Keep thinking about what you're thankful for. So I keep your back straight. Keep breathing in five in through the nose, six out through the mouth. Keep thinking about what you're thankful for. If your mind wanders, that's okay. 
Try to bring it back. One more. Try to bring that back to what you're thankful for. Breathe out. And then we're going to take a deep, deep breath in. Like, go super slowly. Breathe it all out. Check this. Not to, once you breathe it all out, to, to begin with, that first half breath, you really want to make it slow. And just go as long as breath as you can in. So really slowly in. Top, stop at the top. And then really slowly out. Like 12 seconds and fucking 18 seconds. You know? Yeah, here we go. Think about what you're thankful for. And at the very end, I'll tell your eyes to flutter open. So close your eyes. And here we go. Back straight. Let your eyes flutter open. And that's it, you guys. You've done a fucking yoga class. Congratulations. You did not shit your pants. You learned how to deal and do yoga with a belly full of poop, which is a high-level move. And you made it through. Congratulations, everybody. Fucking namaste. Now go take your shit.